So everyone's still digesting the Facebook IPO filing, and the latest news is Calstra's big California pension fund. A little concerned about governance. Maybe Mark Zuckerberg, the founder, has a little too much power in this company. Rob, you've looked at this issue. What's the what's yeah, the Yeah, I mean, we sort of rather provocatively wrote uh, this week that uh, inevitably, uh, Mark Zuckerberg will become the next Rupert Murdoch. I mean, it's, right. it's well, only one day, right? One day. It's only, it may, it may be years, it may be decades, it may be a generation. Half a century. Um, but the, yeah, it may take, <laughs> it may not happen, it. of course, but, but, the, but history, te <laughs> history suggests that when you give way too much power to a controlling shareholder, at some point, shareholders will find that their interests are subordinated mm -hmm. right. to right. those of the controlling shareholder. We've seen it with News Corp, we've seen it with uh, Sumner Redstone at Viacom, right. we've seen it at the New York Times. And you may Salzburgers. eventually see it with Google, which has two classes right. of shares, and who knows what. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's a new tech is adopting old media uh, right. basic governance. So, But for, for now, I mean, shareholders are perfectly happy to say, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, you want to run the company? Great. Well, and, you know, and you've, and you've they, taken and want, nothing and made it. They, want, they made, want him to run. Exactly. Yeah, you've you've taken nothing and Look, made Look, when he's 27 years company. old, he's taken a dorm room project from Harvard and turned it into, you know, a hundred billion right. dollar uh, value creation right. steam. As long as he takes it to 200. As long as I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, so so I understand that, and and like I say, I mean, and I wrote in the piece, you know, for 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 now, that's fine. However, you say shareholders don't want it, but th that's the reason that that Calsters is basically writing their letter saying, you know, right. we don't, we think that he's going to be. So let's just too take many. very quickly through. There's two classes of shares, right? So he has yeah. ultra voting that way, but there's a few extra bells and whistles here, well, he's, right? Well, so you have Class A shares are a very small amount of right. the overall capital structure. Class B shares, he's got 28% uh, of them. Uh, so right. basically, he and they builds, have ten times the votes. and they have ten times the votes. In addition, he has been given uh, proxy voting status by a whole bunch of shareholders. You right. know, a lot of the the, the uh, venture capitalists and people have bought in. Right. So he's basically so got it goes way beyond his shareholding that he's. Yeah, I mean, he's got 57 percent of the vote. You know, again, that, well, that was quid pro quo for getting access to Facebook early. In its life it's, and also, it's look, he doesn't want to go public. I mean, this is clear. There's no he doesn't really need Zuckerberg to, right? doesn't need to go public. Doesn't necessarily want to go public. People want liquidity. People want to cash out. He's saying, look, I don't need to go public, as we've already talked about extensively and written mm -hmm. about. They don't need the capital and right. all the other things that come with being public. Um, so, uh, you know, you're going to play by my rules. So, but then one last thing, he has the right to name a successor on his deathbed, right? Is that right? Right. I mean, look, again, <laughs> this, it's all right out, of, it's right out of Murdochian type, you know, <laughs> governance, right? Um, look, if you can get away with it, go for it. I just don't think shareholders <laughs> should necessarily let him give, give him a free pass. And if they do, you know, ultimately, uh, they'll come to regret it. Right, we'll leave it there. We'll be keeping a close eye on the Facebook IPO, and there'll be more from Breaking Views tomorrow.